Hey friends, it's Danielle Smith. I want to talk to you about something I'm pretty excited about. It is a website, a service that is designed to make your life easier, my life easier. I don't know how often you clean out your closets, but this particular service, Thread Up, is designed so that we can take all of our clothes that are gently used, that are name brands, send it to them. They resell it. We get 80%, up to 80% of the resale value, and they will either send that to you via PayPal or put it in an account so that you can purchase via ThreadUp. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about, because you can send women's clothing and you can send kids' clothing. They, they have a big push right now for kids' stuff. And we're in spring and summer, so you can send spring and summer stuff, but also they're looking towards fall and winter, so it's a good time for you to be cleaning out your closets. All the stuff that your kids gently used and it of course it has to be clean and neat and smell fresh and not have any stains on it, not have any pilling on it. So what you do, number one, you head to the website and you set up an account. And when you set up an account, you request them to send you a bag. And it comes in an envelope just like this, you know, clean out, thread up. And inside you have a bag that can hold up to a laundry basket's worth of stuff. Look how big this bag is. What's great about it is it's already, I have it upside down, it's already set up so that you can ship it right back to them. So you can either give it to the USPS or you can take it to a FedEx office, which is the quickest way to do it. So how does this work? On the back, it even gives you instructions. It tells you exactly what it is you should be doing. So they want your stylish, high quality, and gently used clothes. Now, do you know whether or not some of the clothes you have qualify? Here's a great way to do it. Head to the website. What brands do you accept and what will I earn? They have a calculator, an estimated calculator. So for example, I'm going through my kids' clothes and I find that my daughter has this beautiful Hannah Anderson dress that she only wore, no joke, two times. She wore it for Christmas one year, to Christmas mass, and she wore it for family pictures that we took. Those two times she ever wore it. So what did I do? I put it into the calculator and I put girls, Hannah Anderson, and skirts and dresses, and it gives me an estimated buyout, which is anywhere from twenty-five cents to twenty or two dollars to twenty-five dollars, which is a great return on that, right? So you can put anything in here. In addition to this, you're wondering, you know, which brands do they definitely accept? What do they encourage? What do they not encourage? They give you a card that says how to maximize your payout. And this comes with your big bag that you're going to send back. And it tells you, I mean, so for kids examples, they don't take children's place. They don't take Carter's. They don't take men's clothes. They don't take kids clothes that are 12 months or under. So if you've got kids that are a little bit older, this is a great opportunity. So I'm going through my kids' closets and I'm finding, you know, like shirts that my son has never, ever worn. And then I'm finding clothes from my daughters that still have the tags on them. So these are great things for you to, if you're not, if you don't already have someone in the family that can use them or you don't want to be giving them away. I have dresses that I was looking up and finding out, you know, one dress that my daughter wore and then another dress that she, oh, that's right, never wore. So I, I'm looking through and I'm finding not only some of the spring stuff, because I know that they're wind, they're, they will be winding down on that, but also thinking about winter stuff. So what am I thinking? My daughter was given little mismatch boots, and I did look these up too. And look, tags still on them. These are beautiful items that can A, either make us a little bit of cash so the next time I go to buy my kids clothes, look what I have, or if you send it to them and you decide that you don't want anything returned, if you do want it returned, I believe it is $12.99, right? There's a $12.99 return assurance shipping fee. So if you'd like to say, I'm going to send you these things, these items, I'm going to send you this outfit of my daughter's that she only ever wore one time, right? She wore this and it's got the little top that goes with it, and you think this is worth something, and they get it and they say, eh, I don't really know that it is, but you wanna make sure for $12.99, you can ask for return assurance, which means anything they are not going to keep will come back to you, because they have people who are going through every single item to make sure that it is clean, that it smells fresh, as I mentioned, but also, so you've got that $12.99, but if they decide that there are items of yours they're not keeping and they're not going to be reselling, they send it to a charity, which I think is amazing, right? So I'm going through and I'm finding cords for my son that he is no longer wearing. I'm finding 
Gap Kids jeans that no longer fit him, that he only wore a couple of times. They're in great condition. They actually still have some of the creases, the original creases in them. And I did the same thing with my daughter. I found, you know, some skirts. My sweet girl rarely wears skirts and dresses anymore. And so basically what I'm doing is I'm opening up this bag and I'm putting, oh, look how big this is. I don't think I gave it, gave you the full grasp. Look at how big this is. So this can hold up to, as I mentioned, a laundry basket's worth of stuff. So I'll be putting in all of these clothes and these shoes. I'm lifting up and I'm showing you some of it, but dresses, shirts and shorts. And then once I send it to them, they will let me know what they decide to keep. And the next thing I'll be doing is cleaning out my closet. I'd love to know what you think. Have you used ThreadUp before? How has it worked out for you? And do tell me if you decide after watching this video that you are thinking about doing it and how it works out for you. Because I will be following up to let you know how sending all of these goodies in, which you can't see anymore because I've put them down, into ThreadUp and I'll let you know how it works out. Thanks so much for watching. You can always follow me on Twitter at Danielle Smith TV and comment below because I'd love to know what you think. Have a great day. Ooh, me again. One more thing. I actually wanted to show you the thread up bag now that it's full because I showed you what I was putting in, but not the completed. So this is it from the side, from the front, from the back. Great big, huge bag. I'm looking forward to sending this to them. It probably has a good 25 to 30 items in there. If you need the hand holding, there are instructions right on the bag that tells you they're looking for name brand clothing, laundered, gently used, make sure there's no stains or pilling, and it walks you through the whole process. So they'll pick it up, you can take it to a FedEx. That's what I'm doing. Taking it to FedEx tomorrow, and of course, I'll let you know how it goes. Good luck when you try.